What's going on guys? It's Nando. Driving a video for you guys one more time. And first off, I want to apologize if my voice sounds pretty bad or if the audio isn't that good. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the audio because I'm not using an external mic right now while shooting this video. Um, I am traveling right now, so I am in my hotel room, but I really wanted to get these videos made for you guys because I have been using the HTC U11 and this is that amazing silver. So as you guys can see here, this is what it looks like with the case on. And I've used this for about two weeks, a little over two weeks, um, if not more. I didn't get it exactly when it came out because it took a few days to arrive. But I have used it uh, extensively since then. And if you guys are new to my channel, uh, these type of videos that I'm doing right now um, are part of a series of videos that I like to do for products. Um, such as phones, tablets, computers, things like that. Any kind of real major device that you can actually put some good time into to really see if the device itself um, has pros and cons because everything does have a pro and con. Nothing's perfect. So I've already done an unboxing video for you guys on the HTC U11. If this is the first video of the series or you're looking into getting the HTC U11, feel free to check that out because I do have some early impressions just about the hardware. This video is going to be about uh, things to consider um, when buying the HTC U11. Like I said, I've used this phone extensively and there's a couple things that have stand out to me or stood out to me. I apologize again, it's been a long day. Uh, for one, when you get this phone, it comes with this real uh, cheap and basic uh, case. Um, and I really do appreciate that from HTC because uh, it doesn't cost much, I don't think, for a company to give you at least the bare bone minimum to get your phone up and running and feel like you at least can use it without being completely scared of dropping it. It's not a screen protector, um, but it is a little back case, a little clear case. Now, the case itself gets smudged up and scratched super easily so do keep that in mind um, I did want to throw that out there before getting into some more serious things um, what I have noticed while using this phone so far is that taking pictures um, is a different kind of an experience what I mean by that is when I'm taking pictures with the HTC U11 the quality can be hit or miss depending on a the lighting and B what your storage is like on your device so what I've noticed is if I've had already a lot of pictures or a lot of video recorded on my phone and then I'm starting to take more pictures and more videos it tends to lag quite a bit when it snaps or starts taking that video and if you are recording a video and you've got like in this case almost 64 gigs of footage already which I do have I've taken a lot of videos with this phone in 4K, 1080p, I've taken a lot of pictures because I'm trying to figure it out. I don't like to do video reviews on the camera and on uh, stuff like that because there's others out there that do a better job. But overall, um, it's a really good camera. It takes really good video. But if you have it pretty much packed out, then you're going to get this obnoxious lag and stutter. And if you don't have it, generally when snapping a picture, it does tend to lag a bit. So keep that in mind. The second thing that I want you guys to notice is that, or keep in mind, is that the battery life on the HTC 11 is pretty decent, but not great. Um, charging on it is Quick Charge 3.0, so you know that's standard across the board. It's not as fast as dash charging or the uh, fast, super fast charging for Huawei. I think the Mate 9 uses. And the battery life on this phone gets me anywhere from four-ish to five-ish hours of battery life. I have had some occasional days where it's gone a little bit over six, but those are days that I've spent more time watching video um, and not so much picking up and using the phone and putting it down. I think that if you use your phone for long periods of time consistently, um, then you get better battery life. Also, of course, Wi-Fi versus cellular, that matters as well. But I'm not that impressed with battery life when it comes to the HTC U11. I'm just not. Um, I was using a Galaxy SA Plus. Yes, I understand it has a bigger battery, but it also has a much better screen. So, you know, trade-offs. But battery life is not disappointing, but it's not great, so it's just a meh. So keep that in mind. Another thing to note, the, um, the speakers on this phone are very, very good, but they are not loud. And I'm the type of person that prefers a louder speaker than 
great sounding speakers. I've noticed that I have to crank the volume on this phone to about uh, at least a bit over half, if not almost full, um, in order to really get the volume loud. Um, if you're okay with that, then you're really gonna love the quality that these speakers produce. And you know that HTC, with their boom sound speakers and things like that, have always produced really good sound. But for me, I have noticed that it's not a loudspeaker. The Galaxy SA Plus would produce much louder of volumes at, um, really without even having to get to about 50% on the volume rocker. So that's something that's disappointing for me. Quality sounds great, but volume uh, leaves a bit to be desired. Also, the speaker on the top here um, isn't as loud as the one on the bottom. So the one on the top, if I were to put it by my ear, to listen to it specifically, it always sounds a little muted, a little muffled, so I don't know if that's something that's an issue with my phone. Um, I have yet to drop it in water, so there shouldn't be any water or anything in there, or if that's just how they all are, but do keep that in mind. Um, and lastly, this phone is stupid fast, and that is something that you guys won't realize until you use it. The Galaxy S8 Plus was fast, but not having touch with this is like a stock Android experience in terms of quickness. Blink feed and HTC Sense and all whatever they call it as their UI is incredibly fast and snappy. I've not had any hiccups. I've not had any issues. And I do appreciate that a lot because I am one that loves Blink feed. I love having all my news curated right there to the left. And I appreciate HTC for doing that. Phone is super, super fast. So guys, if you're looking for a great experience that's not overbearing like TouchWiz can be or other skins, I think that uh, the Sense UI from HTC is the way to go. So guys, let me know in the comment section below if you've bought this phone, if you're considering buying this phone, or what's keeping you from buying this phone, or what phone are you waiting for? You know, OnePlus 5 has come out, looks like a solid phone, but it's not exciting. It, to me, looks a bit boring. Galaxy SA Plus is still a hot phone and a great phone and probably still the leader out there for the majority of people. And then you know the iPhone 8 is coming around the corner, so is the Note 8. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm about to lose my voice. I do plan on dropping another video for you guys in a few more days in regards to the final review on the HTC U11. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, do consider doing so. It's a likes and dislikes final review on the HTC U11. And I've got some more videos coming up as well on the iPad Pro 10.5. And that's it. Appreciate every view, guys. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And hopefully my voice didn't know you guys that much. Heading home here soon. I'll catch you guys in the next video, guys. It's Nando. though. Peace and salute. Stay geeky. Never forget to stay geeky.